For me, the most amazing experience is being able to give somebody a flavor they've never had before that's new and kind of opens their mind. When I feel like I've had the best success, when they have that new flavor, but yet it brings back a memory somehow. And you see that you're opening up something in a person, I think being able to put that into a bottle is really special for us. When I started teaching myself about the distillation process, I was really surprised that so many of the brands that I thought of as very high quality were actually just buying in factory-made ethanol, flavoring it a little bit, often with artificial flavors, and then redistilling it in a sense. To me, that wasn't the way that I wanted to make anything. Starting from the beginning, I think the koji process is one of the most important ones that we do. The really beautiful floral sweet flavors that the koji brings gives us a very strong backbone to our spirit and pairs very well with the Belgian Cezanne yeast that we use. For us, the flavor always comes first, and that means that we're always trying to choose the best possible ingredients, starting from the grains, which we get from a biodynamic producer. Talking about seasonality, we're often foraging ingredients or using ingredients from organic or biodynamic farmer. I think the seasonality is really important to us in terms of reflecting what's going on in nature. Also, in terms of having a spirit that changes during the course of the year. If, for instance, if we're using Douglas fir, it tastes different in the spring than it does in the summer than it does in the fall. The idea that spirits don't have vintages, I think is very strange. I mean, it would be great if people could talk about the 2017 vintage versus the 2018 or the 2019. That's really exciting. And to have that showcased in our spirit, I think is just a more honest way of approaching things. When I used to work at Noma, one of the most important things I learned from Rene was that anything was possible. And that's a lesson that really stuck with me and really shapes the way that we're making the spirits today. For instance, making a spirit out of oysters or using a kombucha and distilling that to balance out the flavor of a spirit. Working as a chef, we spend so much time creating these beautiful flavors and perfect experiences in a restaurant, but it's a, this evanescent experience, kind of like the theater, where it's something that you can only have in a single time and place and then it's gone. What I think is really special about what we're doing is we're trying to create those same kind of flavors, but being able to put it in a bottle. And then you have something that you can hand and give to a friend and share that experience with someone.